Hey, what's going on, y'all? I was recently looking into Jeopardy replacements, which it was my last video, if you want to check that out. And I came across something called Bean Dad. What? I hope you are doing well. Welcome to 2021. Let's talk about Bean Dad. What the hell is a Bean Dad? And what does it have to do with Jeopardy? Well... A musician by the name of John Roderick posted on his Twitter that his nine-year-old daughter was hungry. So he told her what every dad tells his nine-year-old daughter, go make some beans. I've never heard, maybe they're British. British eat like beans on things, right? Most Americans, I don't think, eat beans just on the regular. I don't know. Maybe they do. You should. They're good for you. Full fiber. Go eat some beans. But anyway... Come to find out, he told her to go make some beans, and his daughter did not know how to use the manual can opener, which, let's be real, is not, not the easiest thing in the world, man. Imagine you've never opened, used a can opener in your life. It It's kind of a weird contraption to, like, put it on there. I'm surprised we don't have anything more modern than the old-timey can opener. But she didn't know how to use it. And he told her, according to his Twitter, that she couldn't eat until she got it figured out. So the story on Twitter goes like this. It took her six hours, and instead of opening the can of beans, the musician realized there's a good teaching moment here. Welp, Twitter went in. Dog, Twitter don't play. That's that's. If you don't know anything by now, just know Twitter don't play. And once something starts, man, people go in and, and they go hard. A lot of people on Twitter, they said he was abusive. They said he was making his child starve. And she was frustrated and angry for six hours. And it was borderline abusive. So much so, the dude deleted his Twitter. He was like, all right, I'm out. I ain't doing this. Peace. What does it have to do with Jeopardy? Not knowing when to shut up. That's my number one lesson takeaway. Just know when to shut up. Ken Jennings jumped in. And defended the dude and was like, hey, man, he's a good dad. He's a, he's, he's a good person. You know, don't, don't leave him alone. But why Ken Jennings? Because they're actually friends and have a, a podcast together. They do the Omnibus podcast, which they make like 12 grand a month on dang Patreon. I'm not jealous. And so I get he defended his friend, but he made it kind of jokey. He was like, oh, he's going to be in the dictionary. I wish I could be like him or something silly. So then people started jumping on Ken Jennings. They're like, dude, shut the hell up. What makes it worse is as they started digging back into Roderick's tweets, there were alleged uh, racist and anti-Semitic tweets. So now, of course, they're like, well, what's up with you, Ken Jennings? Why are you defending this dude? And he's like, oh, he's a good dad. I don't know. So it got crazy. It got crazy in only the way Twitter and internet can get crazy over some beans. Now, I'll be honest, I didn't see, I didn't go back and read the old tweets uh, I don't care what he said 10 years ago. People change. People grow. It is what it is. I'm not going to hold that against them. But as I was getting my notes together, sitting down, ready to chat about this, Bean Dad is back. He reactivated his Twitter and issued this like super long apology. Basically, he was saying he was kind of just making a joke about you can't eat until you open the beans. And in real life, he said him... Um, the child's mother and himself were sitting around playing with puzzles all day, eating snacks, eating pistachios, and the, the kid was not starving. Uh, six hours is not a long time to eat. You know, he pointed that out to you. He's like, that's the time between breakfast and lunch, you know? So it just wasn't a big deal. It was blown out of proportion. Uh, but who knows? My question is, is this silly, stupid internet bean dad thing enough to make the studios step back from Ken Jennings. Like, eh, we don't want this. And unfortunately, it's similar to another video I talked about um, with Letitia Wright in the role of Black Panther. People don't know when to shut up. And studios are quick. To be, uh, you know, we don't want the hassle. We don't want the hassle. And that that's not to say just because you're a celebrity, you can't have opinions on things. You know, that's dumb. Celebrities are citizens, too. Celebrities vote. Athletes vote. No matter your job, you are you are a, a part of the society, and you should be able to, to express your opinions. But I think there's always a better way to do it. 
Um, and you just got to be careful, especially when you're in the public eye. So what do you think? Will, will it ruin Ken Jennings' chances? If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, as a previous video, I'll just put it up here about him co-hosting Jeopardy. Or is this one we're just going to quickly forget about in the rear view of 2021? I will say this. It's off to a crazy start. So until next time, do your best to be your best. And I will see you then.